What's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Late Great Game Reviews. This week is a game that I have been very excited to play for a very long time. Um, it's Uncharted Golden Abyss for the PlayStation Vita, because I finally, finally got a PlayStation Vita. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Uncharted series. It's actually my favorite game series, and... Um, Ben Studios has taken um, over the reins for Naughty Dog on this one, and they do not disappoint. They definitely are are a great developer for the for this game, and they prove it with Uncharted: Golden Abyss. It it is Golden Abyss is a prequel to the Uncharted series. Um, so it, it it takes place. I'm gonna estimate because they don't give it a specific time but but it takes place before Drake's fortune maybe a couple of years or so um, and I'll just get right into it it is an amazing amazing game um, it has all the you know Drake is back with his signature wit charm and humor uh, you got great environments um, from ancient temples to Ancient ruins, aqueducts, mountain land, mountains, uh, rushing rapids, villages. I mean, great environments that look amazing. I mean, honestly, the graphics seriously do rival Drake's the graphic quality of Drake's Fortune. And sometimes there are moments where the graphics are actually even better than Drake's Fortune, which is incredibly impressive for the Vita. Um, Absent are the set pieces that the that are one of the uh, big staples for the franchise, but there's so much, there's so many entertaining factors. Um, it, 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 that's very, it's a small, small problem with the game. Um, the supporting cast for Drake, for you know, that accompanies Nathan Drake on this adventure is they're they're you know they're not it's. Um, a woman named uh, Chase, uh, who's your main comrade in the game, and another douchebag, Dante. Um, he's, you know, you find out who he is um, in the prologue to the game, and the guy is honestly an idiotic, useless windbag with very shallow character, not great. Chase is a sweet character, but, you know, she, she's no Elena Fisher or Chloe Fraser, for that matter. Um... But spoilers, um, it is nice. It is a welcome, welcome uh, surprise when Sully shows up late in the game, and you just get that classic banter with Sully, and it's so refreshing when he shows up. Um, uh, let's see. The gameplay is what you'd expect from any Uncharted game. Uh, the button. I was happy. I'm happy to say that the buttons are pretty much the same on the Vita as they are a, a normal PlayStation 3 controller um, with some additions um, like throwing grenades and doing some other, other things they've utilized the touch functions on the on the Vita and that is it's they've done it in a really nice way like combat you use some of the in during like some hand-to-hand -hand combats whenever you're doing that um, you use the buttons um, you use square as you usually do, um, but then there, but then to to use finishers and stuff, you use like the touch touch uh, you use the touch functions on the screen, and it flows very nicely. It makes the, it it complements the combat really really well, and makes the combat feel even more fluid than it already naturally does. Um, there, you know, the the soundtrack as well is great. It is enthralling. It is epic. Um, Uncharted soundtracks are always great, and this one is no, it's no different. Um, it, it, there are some tracks that are really, really amazing and very different, um, and it really does add, it really helps, uh, you know, add, add atmosphere to the, to this great adventure and this mystery that we're accompanying. <laughs> Uh, Nathan Drake on once again and uh, speaking of mysteries there are many to solve in this game not just the main one of which is not the main you know the main mystery of the game and the story of the game of Nathan Drake um, you know trying to find this lost city somewhere in, in Central America but there's actually much more to it than that but I'm not going to spoil that it is 
it's it's really fun to uncover it for yourself. Um, but now speaking of the mysteries, there are historic. There's a lot of things that Bend has actually done that that Naughty Dog like that adds and builds upon what Naughty Dog has already done with the first th three games that are really ingenious, honestly. Um, you know, you you've got a lot of collectibles, the treasure sets. You've got treasures to collect, different treasure sets. Um, to collect and it's great because with each treasure they do something that they actually did in the new Tomb Raider re reboot which I love as well um, which is every treasure that you collect you actually uh, you um, every treasure you collect you get the history um, around that treasure which is amazing and it and it adds so much more to the so much more to the game because <laughs> you 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 always you get even more of a sense of the just vast the breadth or am I, is that the right word well the point is you get such Nathan Drake has such a vast vast knowledge of you know <laughs> treasure and ancient cultures and such and all the it's almost as if you're you're being explained the the really really interesting history with, with all the artifacts that you find and you you're trying there's a lot of collectibles not just the treasures but there's there's charcoal rubbings there's artifacts there's historical mysteries that drake solves there's um you know the run of the mill puzzles that you get but there are also you know um Letters and old documents and maps that you put to, that you put together using the touch functions and you, the charcoal rubbings that you use also using the that you find using the touch functions are a blast. I mean, I never got tired of running my finger across the screen and getting a nice clear image from a charcoal rubbing. It's it's really ingenious, and there you also take pictures as well. So you're getting all these different pieces of this mystery. Of this huge mystery, while solving all these other, you know, secondary mysteries, and it's ingenious. Ben, du ben Studios has done an amazing job, um, and you really do feel even more like an archaeological explorer than ever before. It's it's awesome. I w I do want to describe one one. Uh, ex the entire game is amazing, uh, um, but. There's one moment um, that really, really sold me. Um, well, I was already sold for well, this game. I I can't stop praising this game and all the Uncharted games. But there was one moment where you you find this uh, you find this piece of paper, and the ink can only be seen if you move it across bright light. I but you the great thing is that the document is actually you hold your PlayStation Vita up to bright light and you move it around and the ink actually you actually the message is revealed and that is absolutely amazing I thought it was heat sensitive or something I tried a few things but it's actually light sensitive so you're actually holding your Vita up as if you would hold up a document to light to reveal the message it's brilliant and amazing I was awestruck when I when I uh, when I did that um, let's see what other things are there to say because there's a lot to say about this game um, yeah the classic banter when Sully shows up is absolutely refreshing because um, uh, yeah the, the villain also is uh, it's this kind of it's this you know corrupt warlord um Guero who is uh he's you know he's very very forgettable compared to some of the other villains like Lazarvage and especially Marlo um of Uncharted 3 you know it, he's very forgettable he, he's not Harry Flynn or any of the other great villains that this that the series has already established um so yeah, I mean that is Uncharted Golden Abyss. I could go on and on. I really could. Um, the game is stellar. It's a stellar accomplishment. Um, 
I did have, there is one other thing. I, I had some, uh, it's not so much a problem, but I had a little bit of trouble with the aiming at first. And I know that that's been a common complaint across all the Uncharted games for fans. But I, me specifically, have I've never had a problem with the aiming controls of the Uncharted series until this, until Golden Abyss. Um, but it was e easily solvable. I just, like, the aiming is super, super steady. Like, it's the same aiming you'll find in Uncharted 3. It's super steady. Um, but the sensitivity I found was a little bit much. I was kind of swerving all over the screen when I held up a gun in a gunfight. Uh, but a simple, quick change to the sensitivity, sensitivity solved that. And uh, it was smooth as butter after that. So, um yeah, uh, for fans of the Uncharted series, Golden Abyss should not be missed. I'm so glad that I finally got a chance to play it. Something to, uh, you know, something to definitely hold me over until Uncharted 4. Um, it, yeah, and, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's once again an absolutely amazing game. Um, Ben Studios has done a great job, and I'd love to see them do more. Vita games or hell, even a console game, you know, because they, they've really just added to the history and adventure, <laughs> um, adventures of Nathan Drake. Um, yeah, so I'm, de I am going to give Uncharted Golden Abyss an 8.5 out of 10. Um, you know, there are a few very, very minor problems, um, but definitely nothing, nothing that sours the game in any, any shape or form. Um, for all Uncharted fans, Golden Abyss should not be missed. Alright, alright everybody, I will see you next time. Play this game. <laughs>